Hey guys, Alex here with another review. I'm doing the Best of WWE Ladder Match DVD compilation that I got off eBay not too long ago. Finally going to do the review. Started all things off. They kind of had a nice little opening with the very first ladder match from Stampede Wrestling back in July of 1979 where the North American title with Jake Snake Roberts and Big Daddy Ritter who was Junkyard Dog when he came to WWE. Um, I'm not even going to give this a rating really. It's base. It was kind of short. It was like they only showed like the very end of it and kind of, you know, boring really. But it kind of shows, kind of cool to see the very first one. So I'll leave it at that. Then you had the very first ladder match, which was technically not the Bret Hart or Shawn Michaels versus Ramon match, but the, a Bret Hart Shawn Michaels match that took place. And it was basic, you know, really important because it was the first ladder match in WWE history, which is pretty cool. But, you know, it was, you know, just all right. I give it three stars. I'm, I'm kind of just going to go reason through them. You can check out the rating. I'm not going to say them all just because, you know, I'd be here forever. So I'm just going to give you like a quick little insight on each one. You had the SummerSlam ladder match with Shawn Michaels and Razor Ramon, which was the rematch from WrestleMania 10. Really, really good. Still holds up today. Um, you know, the, there was a botched ending where Shawn Michaels fell when he was trying to get the belt, so that kind of hurt a little bit. I, I don't really think it hurt, actually. Great chemistry, though. Great action. You know, really, really solid ladder match. Probably you know, one of the best ones. It really, it kept the idea fresh, I think. Uh, and then you had the ladder match between Rock and Triple H. Uh, again, great stuff. Thought the ending was a little too long. Um, or it, the match itself was a little too long. Nice build at the ending, though. But, uh, like, I like the idea that they, were, they really seemed wore out, and they had a nice little build-up to the, um, throughout the match. So it was nice. Uh, no Way Out ladder match with the Terry Reynolds uh, Invitational Tournament with Jeff Hardy, or... Matt Hardy and Jeff Hardy versus Edge and Christian. This is the very, the very first tag team ladder match. And this match is really, really good too. This was kind of like the first real spot fest ladder match. And it's really, it, it was actually really phenomenal. I, I thought it was a really great match still. And I enjoyed it a lot. Um, very first TLC match was on this with Edge, Christian, Dudley Boys, and Jeff Hardy from SummerSlam 2000. This is a five star match in my opinion. This was just pure action from start to finish this it was just awesome to see really awesome spots great finish um and let me just say this right now i still mark out for when the dudley boys do get the table spots i think that is just one of the best moments for a live crowd and really fun to watch even today uh then you actually had a wcw uh ladder match from starcade 2000 it was a number one contender match it was basically uh three teams in it and, you know, so, like, the guy had the element of tag team partners maybe working together or not working together. Jamie Noble, Evan Courage Courageous, Gregory Helm, Shannon Moore, um, Yang, and Kaz Hazashi. It was kind of cool, you know, spots. Um, actually, some really cool ones, including one where, like, they had the ladders make a platform, and uh, Shannon Moore grabbed onto the bottom of them and skinned the cat up there. Grabbed a person with, a, and with his legs, threw him off, and skinned the cat back up to the top of the ladder, which was really cool. Only thing that really hurt the match was the WCW booking, which is basically it started out with two men in the ring, and then you had to tag in and out to get in the match, which kind of, you know, ended within the first two minutes. You know, really wasn't was kind of pointless. And then the fact that you know two guys won the match was supposed to be a number one contender match for one guy winning the belt or getting the title shot. So I thought that was kind of weird, but it was fine. Uh, Royal Rumble from two thousand. 2001, ladder match for, uh, for the Intercontinental title, Chris Benoit versus Chris Jericho. This was pretty damn awesome still. Um, you know, very few high spots and really just used weather as a weapon as really kind of a base to do more damage, which is pretty cool. Uh, love the spot where Chris Benoit dove out to the ring and got hit with a chair. Um, and then the walls of Jericho on the ladder, which was really cool. Still pretty damn good ladder match to me today. Uh, WrestleMania 20, or sorry, WrestleMania 17. This was the TLC2 match. This is widely considered to be the best tables, ladders, and chairs match. I think it's still great. St a little bit more. This one seemed to be a little bit more slower paced than the one, the one at SummerSlam. Like they had more time. It felt like they weren't rushing, and it gave it a little bit more pacing, which is nice. Uh, still small some spots. I like the little addition of the running where Lita, Spike Dudley, and Rhino interfered, add a little bit more um, elements to the match, and didn't really hurt it at all. And, you know, it really worked well. This was, again, this was great. Um, TLC match from SmackDown in 2001. Edge, Christian, Jericho, Chris Benoit versus the Dudley, Boy, Dudley Boys, Hardy Boys. 
This is the first televised TLC match. Again, great story here. Uh, where Chris Benoit made the comeback after, um, you know, doing a diving headbutt and going through the table, which looked like it hurt like hell. Got a lot of time for a TV match. A lot of great spots here. And, you know, really, really cool for a TV match. Really, you know, that definitely made it a lot better, I think, if it was a TV match. Uh, and just, you know, how crazy it was. Uh, no Way Out 2001, Edging vs. Christian. Really slow-paced. It was basically just spot, pause, pause, you know, and, you know, the another spot, pause, pause, you know, nothing really, nothing really, crowd kind of died, spot, oh, hey, crowd pops. So that kind of hurt, that was kind of, um, you know, it made it kind of very dull. Um, and, little, you know, there are some nice spots here a little bit, you know, with Chris and Christian really, you know, having experience with each other, so that kind of helped, but, you know, it was just not really a strong ladder match. Had one from uh, Eddie Guerrero on RVD. Slow to start, but it got, but it really picked back up after a while. Um, ending was kind of just kind of there. Didn't really have a very good finish. Actually, in you know, the bro there was a broken ladder involved, and actually a crowd, a uh, guy from the crowd ran in and interfered and actually pushed Eddie Guerrero off the ladder. They cut that off in the DVD, but I've seen it on Botch Media and on the internet. So that kind of made it the finish have to be like kind of reworked. So. A ladder match from Raw with the unified, nice, they, uh, the unified WWE title with Undertaker Jeff Hardy. This may not be the best match ever, but the story was really great. Where Jeff Hardy basically was going into this looking like, oh, he's going to get killed in a matter of minutes. No, you know, no chance. And, you know, they really gave you a few spots where you thought Jeff Hardy was going to win the world or the WWE title. And, you know, that the crowd was behind it and they were going crazy when Jeff Hardy was coming the ladder. So that really helped. And then, you know, after the match where... Undertaker shook Jeff Hardy's hand and like basically acknowledged that he was, you know, a real a real competitor. Really made Je gave Jeff Hardy an extra boost with the fans and really made Jeff Hardy look like a main eventer. So that's pretty damn cool. Uh, another TLC match from Monday Night Raw, which was Kane and the Hurricane versus RVD and Jeff Hardy versus Bubba Ray and Spike Dudley versus Chris Jericho and Edge or Chris Jericho and Christian. Sorry. And um, this was the whole thing where Hurricane got taken out by Evolution, I think. And so is Kane going in alone. You know, pretty good stuff. You know, really great. I felt it was a little too long and drawn out, but everyone got a chance to shine, which is good. Every, you know, member of the team got a chance to, you know, do some spots and look like they had a chance of winning. So I, it was pretty good. I liked it. Uh, Unforgiven 2004, Christian versus Chris Jericho for the, IC for the IC title. Decent back and forth. Nice middle, nice middle part where, uh, you know, they had some good stuff. Uh... End spot was, you know, kind of, kind of cool, but the drama, there was no drama of Chris Jericho when he just kind of, he, he took out Christian and then just climbed the ladder, you know, there's really no, you know, uh, anticipation, you know, just kind of blah, finish. Uh, then we had the very first Money in the Bank pay-per-view, Money in the Bank ladder match from WrestleMania 21. This was great. This was an awesome ladder match and really Added some fresh air into the ladder match concept. Gave the mid charters a chance, mid card guys a uh, straight shot to the main event. Gave him a chance to shine. Really, really great. You know, obviously this is probably considered one of the best among the big matches. I think this one is be right there behind twenty the WrestleMania or ladder match, money the bank ladder match from WrestleMania twenty three and the one from twenty four, which I think both were better. Um, SummerSlam two thousand five with the. Ladder match for the custody of Dominic with Eric Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio. This was great. Really creative spots. Really risky. The botches in this match were noticeable, but you know I feel that they were doing so many high risk moves that that you can forgive it because they were just taking so many big chances. Obviously, the storyline was stupid. You know where Dominic was supposed to be Eddie's son, even though it looked exactly like Rey Mysterio. And I think everyone kind of agreed this story was kind of stupid. But Eddie really worked as well as a heel. There was one spot where Dominic got in the ring and tried to interfere. And Eddie just got in his face. And, it, you know, Eddie was just being a typical heel. Like, you know, oh, you, you give me a hug. You know, you're going to love. You know, it, it was pretty funny. It was classic Eddie. And, you know, um, it was a great match, even though the storyline was stupid. So I think that's one thing that kind of saved the storyline from being one of the worst views of the year. Um, Raw, Raw match, loser leaves. Raw ladder match, Edge versus Matt Hardy. Fast, quick, and good action. A couple of cool spots. Really nice spot where um, Edge was like hanging from the briefcase, and Matt Hardy grabbed his legs and swung him basically across the ring, which was pretty crazy and actually kind of risky. 
It was nice, though. Pretty short, though, but I liked it. Uh, another TLC match from Raw, Edge versus Ric Flair. Um, Ric Flair, I have mad props for him for doing this kind of match. Really, really risky, you know, especially for men his age. Um, nice little story where Ric Flair almost won in his hometown. Really cool. Um, awesome for a TV match. Like I said, that's really... It probably wouldn't be great as a pay-per-view match, but as a TV match, it worked very, very well. Unforgiven 2006 TLC match for the WWE title, Edge versus John Cena. Few good spots with the tables and the ladders. They kind of integrated, you know, a little bit of a TLC on, or they um, really, you know, used all of them very well. Um, you know, nice spot where Edge speared Cena off the ladder. The ending was pretty cool where Cena F5 or FU'd Edge through the two tables off the ladder. But um, it was a little slow parts, but the crowd was into it, so that really helped and that kept it from being a, you know, boring match. So that's good. Uh, rest are uh, raw. Ladder match for the Intercontinental title, Jeff Hardy versus J Johnny Nitro, a.k.a. John Morrison. Really a spot fest, and, uh, but a few cool new spots. Like, there's one part where Johnny Nitro and Jeff Hardy on the ladder, and uh, Johnny climbed the ladder and did a drop kick off it to hit Jeff Hardy, which is crazy. I've never seen that before, which is really cool. And I don't think I've ever seen that since, actually. And, um, you know, really good Sunset Flip Powerbomb. I think Jeff Hardy hit that on Johnny Nitro. Um, Nitro really kept his pacing here and really showed that he could be a high flyer like Jeff Hardy and kind of a shame they never got rid of the big break he deserved. Last match was the Armageddon 2006 pay-per-view which was a fatal four-way ladder match for the WWE tag titles which was originally supposed to be Paul London and Brian Kendrick versus William Regal and Dave Taylor. They added Eminem and the Hardy Boys to it and made a ladder match. A lot of fun, a lot of fast pacing. William Regal and Taylor brought a new twist where they're just pound beating the hell out of each other or um, the competitors and not really focusing on the ladder and didn't really want to climb the ladder, just wanted to beat the hell out of people. Uh, London and Kendrick were awesome and like they were very fast paced, very, very quick. Really worked well with the Hardys. I thought I think that um, those two teams should have had a ladder match or at least a mat a program feud together and would have been really cool and helped get those London and Kendrick over as two potential threats. And, you know, so that was a really good match as well. So, all in all, this is a great DVD to get. Well worth the money if you can still find it. I don't know if WWE carries anymore just because it has Chris Benoit matches on, and you know that's a big no-no nowadays. But highly recommend you guys check this DVD out, especially because they have a lot of good ladder matches that you can't find anywhere else right now, and plus you can get the good ladder matches without having to buy the rest of the show. So, highly recommend it. I give it a 9 out of 10. You know, like I said, really worth your money to check out. And um, you can check out the ratings below. I gave you my quick thoughts on them. But that's it for now. Take care.